Why did subject make y'all get all quiet and, and not bitchy? y'all? No, nah, not no, at all. Why it seemed like y'all cool? No, my it's thing, is, my it's thing is, um, it's it's a touchy subject because somebody got injured, right? So you you want to be um, sympathetic and and show some... y'all scared because she's suing that girl? Nah, no, no, I don't got Milagro. Ain't got nothing to do with me. <clears throat> nah, I just think I'm that happy he... about that too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nigga is. Because you can't just get on the microphone and say things. I say that all the time. There is some responsibility that comes with how you utilize your platform. And if you get on here and just start saying crazy shit about people with no uh, foundation uh, basis or merit, then you open to what comes from that. And Milagro, as much as I love her, is down with that click of, uh, it's like Bush League reporting. She's down with that uh, gorilla it's like, style. Like, it's like a gorilla style, tabloid Tasha K, tabloid, us weekly yeah. type style reporting. National Enquirer. So, yeah, the National Enquirer and them niggas got lawsuit money put to the side for when stupid shit like this happened. True. You don't. Mm. So, you get on their YouTube with all that, all that rigmin roll, and you, you take what comes to you. Mm. Yeah. And the girlies mm. are going to be the one to do it, i.e., mm. Uh, Cardi, Cardi and Tasha, mm -hmm. and now here we have it. Uh, Meg, Meg and fucking uh, her. So yeah, I think Meg is well within her right. She's gonna get up there and say, "I lost sleep, I lost money, I lost this, I mm -hmm. lost opportunities. I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. I thought about ending things. Uh, trigger warning. Just whatever you say." And yeah, Milan gonna have to go figure it out. Mm -hmm. Two birds, mm -hmm. one stone. I, I agree. I think I think what's gonna happen is um. You can't sue me for when he finally like when he you. finally speaks. Like if he gets the opportunity to do a documentary, why are or some you saying Meg shit, is again, gonna all, have a field day? It might be a long time from now. Mm. I think it it'll change some of the public opinions and, and and bring a little bit of doubt into the situation. I think mm. a lot of people got doubt. They already do. They do. It's but a lot when of he doubt. but when he gets an opportunity to talk. I think they're going to have more doubt. Tory Lanez has to say. He should have got on that fucking stand and, and spoke his damn truth if there was any truth to fucking speak. All right, I'm sick of it. Gloves are off right now, y'all. Gloves are off. I'm taking them off. Gloves are off. It's time we fucking be real. It's time we be honest with ourselves. Something that apparently Joe Busy Button can't do. It's time we fucking be honest with ourselves. He's talking about getting on the mic and saying things and accepting the repercussions that come with those things that you say on the mic when this nigga is one of the pioneers of getting on a mic and saying shit about people that could have had repercussions. Like, what the fuck are we doing? At the, at the end of the day, you have freedom of speech and you have freedom of the press. Regardless of it, uh, unfortunately, y'all don't like it, but this is what it is now. The journalists are on the internet. The bloggers are the journalists. The academics are the journalists. Yes, it's not traditional journalism where you're typing all day and writing stories and all that bullshit. It's more face-to-face, -face, live stream, talking about news, current topics, whatever. That's what it is now. And that's okay. Everything should have the chance to fucking evolve. So if we're evolving, and at the end of the day, yeah, it might not be press. I might not be typing, but I'm talking. I should have the right. And the amendment gives me these rights. They gave these rights to Joe. They give them the Milagro. They give them the act. They give them the whoever to say what they want to say as long as it stays in bounds of criticism or an opinion. No, you cannot be out here like Tasha K spreading lies. No, you can't. Don't do that. I would advise you not to because then you will get sued for, for defamation and spreading fucking lies. Yes, you, Cardi B had every fucking right to sue Tasha K. That's just period, point blank, end of fucking discussion. But when it comes to this, when it comes to this, when you read this whole shit, this whole fucking lawsuit, because I read it, when you read it, basically Meg is saying that she's suing her for not even defamation. She's saying she was spreading misinformation because she was telling people to go to her likes but so they could see the altered... AI image of the, the Megan Thee Stallion picture that was fucking viral on Twitter that everybody had saw. Milagro didn't, like, she didn't make that bigger than it 
already was getting. And then at that point, you came out and said it was fake at some point. You came out and said it wasn't real. It's AI. So why would we believe it? <laughs> okay, it's not real. We believe you, Meg. It's not real. So why are you suing her for spreading misinformation? What? <laughs> when she never tweeted out the, the, the video, she just told people to go to her likes. And in that, the lawyer could just argue whatever. Maybe she was telling people to go to her likes to see something else. And the Meg thing was just there. She wasn't directing them to go see it just so they could see that. I don't know how the tweet came off. But come on. Come on. And then other than that, it's just she's suing her for her opinion on her. Like, look, I get it. That's one of your ops. Tory Lanez is, is backing her. Nicki Minaj backs Milagro as well. And those are some of your top ops. So to get at them, you're going to hit her. And I, I understand. But at the same time, at least be in bounds. Cardi was in bounds. You cannot sue somebody to shut them up. Okay. The National Enquirer will put out some bullshit clickbait, news bait, call it, whatever you want to fucking call it, just so you could buy their newspaper. Yeah, it might be wrong. Yeah, it might be a rumor. But yeah, they need to keep lawyers just in case whatever rumor they put on the front page of that newspaper spreads like fucking wildfire and the person that they're talking about knows it isn't true and decides to come after them. Yeah, they need to keep money. <laughs> The, bruh newspapers have been clickbaiting before youtube that's just the truth of the matter that's where youtubers got it from it's called a headline nigga now your headline could be false or it could be right just just make sure you fall within the facts don't 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 just say something that's don't be tasha cat okay and she done fixed it up she just does what everybody does does what i do does what Joe Budden does, does what DJ Academics do. She just talks about the hot topics, stays in bounds. If it's being reported, you should be able to talk about it. And that's the only thing this Milagro chick does. She reports things and talks about them. Yeah, her opinion might be biased. Yes, yeah, she not, might not be on your side. But, bruh, go, go listen to somebody who is. Why do you care about what she's doing over there? <laughs> If, if you feel that, if you feel some type of way about it that much, how about you go find one of these bloggers that love them some Meg the Stallion and give them clout. Like, hey, I want you pushing news about me. Like, bro, you got to work with these niggas. These celebrities get onto a hill and then they don't want to come down and deal with us unless unless we, we're making them feel bad. Oh, she's making me feel bad. What? What? And the fact that Joe Budden agrees with this is just odd to me. That's just fucking odd. Because you are literally doing exactly what you're saying people shouldn't do. <laughs> like, you're doing it. <laughs> you're on your microphone. You're talking your shit. You're giving your opinions. Because they're not fact-based. Everybody's just giving opinions at the end of the day. You're giving your opinions. And you're letting whatever happened happen. Just make sure you're not out here telling no lies. Like, you're doing the same thing, Joe. You're doing it to a point where you put a whole disclaimer before your podcast. What the fuck are we talking about right now? 